Beautiful records by both guys, but look at that. It's double the wins with Kiyochi Horiguchi. Look at the difference in size, 5'10 to 5'5. Look at that reach advantage, Moro. That is a huge factor in this fight. With the official introductions, he is the international voice of Bellator MMA. He is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Bellator MMA Live on DAZN. Tonight, from Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, we begin with five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Bantamweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission Executive Director Kim Sumler. And now, fighting first out of the blue corner, at five foot five, weighing in 134.4 pounds in his Bellator debut, the Ryzen Bantamweight Champion brings a professional record of 27 wins, just two losses from Takasaki Guma, Japan. Introducing the challenger, Kiyoshi Horaguchi. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the red corner at five foot ten, weighing in 134.6 pounds. In his second title defense, he stands with 13 professional victories, two defeats. Fighting out of San Diego, California, he hails from Rahway, New Jersey, presenting the defending Bellator Bantamweight World Champion, Daria Hawaii. the referee in charge of the action, Todd Anderson. Gentlemen, remove the rules in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If you wish to touch gloves, do so now. Step back. Referee is Todd Anderson. We're about to embark on the first of a possible five five-minute rounds for the Bellator bantamweight title, Ryzen bantamweight champion, Kyoji Uraguchi drew first blood against Darion Ready. Caldwell. Ready. Ready. The bell and round one. Caldwell in the red gloves, Horiguchi in the blue gloves. Aside from the obvious, the biggest difference, fighting in a cage from a ring. Well, it is, but Horiguchi What is, is the biggest difference? Well, the biggest difference is, look at when you're in that ring, there's resets. There's the use of the ropes and getting yourself away from your opponent where you can't do that in the cage. There's all kinds of things that Horiguchi had the skill level of utilizing that Darian just didn't understand. This is more Darian's world, but it's also Horiguchi's world, and he will tell you he would rather fight MMA in a cage than he would in a ring. Caldwell became Bellator Bantamweight champion in October of 2017, defeating Eduardo Dantes at Bellator 184, and Caldwell utilizing his wrestling early, looking for the takedown on Horiguchi, and has his back. Caldwell, the bigger of the two champions. By far the bigger game. man, but you know, when you look at that, there's advantages and disadvantages. That was a huge elbow, and that's what we were talking about, the difference for Darion Caldwell. He utilizes big elbows, and he thinks it's going to be a big difference in this fight. The question is, does he lose too much weight? Is he going to start to get tired? Because the longer the fight goes, the more I think it goes towards Kiyoji Horiguchi. Six of Caldwell's seven victories by KO or submission have come in the opening round, and he's immediately on top of Horiguchi. How is Horiguchi off his back, John? He's very good off of his back. He's got a very effective guard. You can see right now, even with his positioning, he's keeping Darian at a position where he's off center keeping his back against the cage and utilizing the cage to get back to his feet. Horiguchi, 27 and two, 14 knockouts, three submission victories. Caldwell, 13 and two with two knockouts and five subs. So a huge edge in experience you can for Horiguchi. Darian has laced that arm behind the back and that's why he's opening up with those big right elbows. Look at him, you can see he's got Horiguchi's left arm trapped behind his back. Caldwell began wrestling at the age of nine, was a three-time New Jersey State wrestling champion. He wrestled D1 in college for North Carolina State and was the 2009 NCAA Division I national champion. A big difference in the opening two and a half minutes of this fight compared to their first fight, and it's all due to those elbow strikes. 
Oraguchi has nine victories via first round knockout or submission. Started karate at five years of age as a Shotokan karate black belt. At the age of 16, saw Pride Fighting Championships event and became addicted to mixed martial arts. Trained under his hero, the late great Norafumi Kid Yamamoto. Made his pro debut in May of 2010, under two minutes left. And Caldwell keeping Oraguchi pinned to the mat. Keeping him pinned there, but he's, he's accepting a position of cl clasping his hands behind Horaguchi's back while Horaguchi lands these shots. That's not smart by Darian. He needs to think about, I can pull his hits out and attack. I've got to pass that guard. Coming up on the final 90 seconds of our opening round, Caldwell utilizing his wrestling early to take down Horaguchi, but is unable to maximize this position. And you're right, Horaguchi's the one who's imposing the offense with those strikes as Caldwell remains in a position. And what do you think Caldwell's attempting to do here, John? He's attempting to control the position and put Horaguchi where he wants. Oh, there's a, the attempt, the another one that landed for Caldwell. He's good, good, good. The, the big difference in this round, Horaguchi is landing these little strikes, but they're doing no damage. But you're looking at the strikes that Caldwell is landing. They have been big, heavy strikes. Under a minute left in the first frame. Half guard being employed by Horaguchi. Caldwell I'm looking, looking again to try to find an opening, try to Grab find a, a way to... Stop! Yeah. Stop! Up. Referee is... We have what we have is Horaguchi is holding on to Caldwell's glove. Your fingers are in the glove. Or, yes, I excuse me, Caldwell's holding on to Horaguchi's glove. Again, in the ready, ready, turn, fight. And that's why he's out of the position. He was holding on to Horaguchi's glove. Horaguchi was trying to tell the referee Todd Anderson sees it, and that's why he breaks him and century starts him on the feet. Fifteen seconds left in the first round, and. Caldwell and Horaguchi renewing hostilities here in Bellator <laughs> MMA and a solid start for Caldwell. Oh, feel it, but they were in there, okay? And John at the end of the first round, the unofficial scorecard and why? Unofficial scorecard, Darian Caldwell wins that round 10-9 because he's the guy that landed the biggest, quick, heaviest, most damaging strikes and, and that is feet. what was the you're difference in the great. round. Take a look at the elbows that he lands here. That's a huge right elbow. And you can see that arm lace behind his back. Another one. Those are open strikes landing flush against Horaguchi. Those are damaging. Horaguchi's trying to respond, and he's landing little shots with his punches, but not enough to do any damage. And Darian was doing damage. You can see the glove hold by Darian Caldwell. Take a look. He's not controlling the hand. By grabbing the hand, he's grabbing the material of the glove. That's illegal. Out. Seconds out. Hey, hey, hey. Bell, this is round number two. Two great camps being represented in this championship fight called well. Fighting on a team alliance, head trainer Eric Del Fierro. And while Horaguchi makes his home in Japan, he trains with American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida, as head trainer, former WEC champion Mike Brown. You know, an outstanding fighter in his day. He was the first guy to really, he took the crown from Uriah Faber. But what a trainer he has become. Mike Brown is phenomenal as a trainer and says that Kyoji Horiguchi is the hardest training guy he has ever seen. And what about what Eric Del Fierro has been able to accomplish at Team Alliance? Well, I'll tell you what, Eric Del Fierro, with the help of Dominic Cruz, has created a super camp down in San Diego where those guys are just a bunch of killers. Sub Pop Caldwell fishing for a, a head kick. Horiguchi darting in and out of range. Then Caldwell, 5'10", Horaguchi, 5'5". Five, five. There's a head kick, but partially blocked by Horaguchi. And you see Horaguchi pressing the issue. He's not backing away. He's looking for that opportunity to get inside to land those shots, because he has to get past that range of Darium. We invite you to become a part of the conversation on social media. Hashtag Bellator222.
What a way to kick things off with this Bellator Bantamweight Championship fight. Caldwell looking not only to defend the title, but even the series with Horiguchi. And he has it's already mentioned, when he wins tonight, he'll go to Japan and then vie for the Ryzen Bantamweight title, and they could complete their trilogy. So obviously confidence oozing out of both fighters heading into this rematch as Caldwell shoots the single. Nice clean shot. Runs it down, but you look and see it look exactly what Horgridge did. He got himself all the way to the cage where he can get his back against it to get himself back up. We saw this in the opening round. You talked a little bit about what Caldwell could do looking at it from this position. He wasn't able to, to improve his position. How can he do so here? Well, he did improve his position eventually. He got to that half guard position which is an improvement from being where he's got you know, basically a guard position here. But he's doing, he's just sitting there again on top, exactly. putting his weight this on what he needs to do. I need to stop being just the wrestler at this moment and trying to pull my opponent's hips away from the cage and get him down on his back because it hasn't worked. So let me break free and strike and land big shots. They're gonna damage and break my opponent down. Every fighter's mental makeup is different, but we've seen it even on the undercard. Caldwell coming off a, a big loss in Japan. Does that speak to maybe being a little more conservative, sticking to his bread and butter early, just imposing his will and skill and just making sure that he executes his game plan at any 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 step? Absolutely. Look at no doubt look, when you lose a fight, you gotta go back and say, okay, where did I make, make my mistakes? And he made a lot in that first fight. And a, and a big part of it was his, his inability to keep Horiguchi on the ground. And that's what he's trying to change right here. And now, Caldwell again, Horiguchi against the fence, but Horiguchi dropping those left hands. Minute and a half left in the second round. Darian needs to stop just grabbing the waist. If he's going to grab and put his hands and get that gable grip, then he needs to start to lift back, bringing Horiguchi's hips off of the cage and start to put him flat on his back. Caldwell talking to us about what ex-UFC champion Dominic Cruz has, has meant to him, and especially when you, you look at angles and footwork, I mean, <laughs> Cruz changed the game. Oh, no doubt about it. And you, you can see a lot of times Darian, when he's very confident, he starts to bring a footwork out that, that mimics Dominic Cruz very much. And you'll notice tonight, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that because he's always unsure of where Horiguchi is going to come from. See, right now, this is the difference of Horiguchi is actually fighting. Darian Caldwell is trying to control. And the fight should always be won by the guy trying to fight, not the guy trying to control. Now the referee brings them back up to their feet. Caldwell telling us that the rematch would go one way, him taking down Horiguchi and punishing them. He's taken Horiguchi down. He hasn't really punished them yet. No, he, well, he did in the first round with some big shots. But in this second round, he has done nothing to diminish Horiguchi. And Horiguchi's the guy landing the strikes. Well, round number three, talk about the adjustments that Horiguchi has to make as we look at your unofficial scorecard, John. Talk about it through two rounds. Well, there's no doubt in my mind, Caldwell won that first round, landed the bigger shots. But in the second round, he didn't land any big shots. In fact, he just wrestled, he got position, but he was accepting small strikes. And look at, when you did nothing with your submission game, nothing to do anything to finish the fight against Horiguchi, he wins the round. Talk about potential adjustments for each fighter as Horiguchi goes to the air with that knee strike. Now the small north side position. Horiguchi looking for the guillotine again, just like in Japan. What, what Darian needs to do right now is control that hand, take his time. In my opinion, he's the guy that can win all the scrambles when it comes to the wrestling game. He can take chances. But the problem is, and this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the fight, I think Darian's starting to get tired. It is that weight cut. That he is losing so much weight in that weight cut that he's losing his ability to maintain that energy oh. to keep the pace. Looking for that elevator sweep with the butterfly hooks. Caldwell, who is on the bottom now, Horiguchi looking to 
past guard, and Horiguchi has the three submission wins, a rear naked choke, an arm triangle, and the guillotine choke victory against Caldwell. Now in half guard, open half guard, could try to slip to side control, but now electing to just put the pressure on Caldwell. And you're seeing Horiguchi, what he's trying to do is he's trying to create pressure with his hips to free his leg to get himself out of the half guard, more to a side control position. But at least he's starting to open up and starting to utilize some strikes. That's what you want to see from the guy on top. Baldwell telling us that he expected Horiguchi to be stronger, faster, and more confident in this, the rematch. But he told us that he's going to shut his body off. He knows it's the biggest fight of his career. His belt is on the line. And actually, Caldwell's last fight here in Bellator took place at Featherweight, to your point, John. Potentially moving up. He stopped Noel Lahat via second round TKO. He is 7-0 at 145. Well, I want you to think about it more. Back in 2009, when he won the NC2A championships, he won that at 149 pounds. He is fighting at 135 now. That's a huge drop in weight. Midway point of the round and the fight. With Horiguchi in top position, the open guard of Caldwell. And this is the difference of what you're seeing is when Horiguchi was put on his back by Caldwell, he gets himself to the cage and he does not accept the position. He continues to work his way out of it. And you're not seeing that from Caldwell. And Horiguchi and Caldwell back on the feet. The southpaw swings wildly. The sprawl by Horiguchi. And immediately Horiguchi back right in there. the half butterfly guard of Caldwell. I'm sorry, that right there just tells you Darren Caldwell is tired. He was on his knees, able to come up. He did not, he just fell to his back. He's not a jiu-jitsu guy off of his back. This is not the area where he wins fights. Second rematch in Caldwell's career. Lost to Joe Tamanguo and was able to avenge that loss. And here tonight looking to avenge the setback in the land of the rising sun with 90 seconds left here in round three. And series of punches by Horiguchi showing the referee that he's staying busy. Nice job by Horiguchi trying to get jump his back. And those left hands delivered by Horiguchi. Caldwell back up to his feet. A knee on the exit. And a front kick from Caldwell. A minute left in the third round. Another knee. Left and now they're exchanging punches. Left uppercut. Sprawl by Horiguchi. But will Caldwell be able to persevere? It's Horiguchi here implementing his offense. Well, right now, Caldwell's in a good position to put him flat on his back. And, and he got the fence. Now posture and start raining down damaging strikes. But there goes Horiguchi again. Yeah, by accepting the position, more. Caldwell with five submission wins, three guillotine chokes, two rear naked chokes. And now under 30 seconds left, Horiguchi with his back against the fence in a seated position. And you know expending a lot of energy, both of them. With Caldwell imposing his will on top and Horiguchi trying to keep the bigger man off him, or at least trying to stymie his offensive attempts. We are through three rounds in this rematch for the Bellator Bantamweight title. Ready? Ready to fight? This is round number four of a possible five. Bantamweight champion Darian Caldwell defending his Bellator belt against rising champion Kyoji Horiguchi. John, after three rounds, how do you win? Here's Horiguchi again fishing for that. Choke! Fishing for it, but he does not have it right at this moment, but it's getting tight. Will it be deja vu all over again for Darian Caldwell? And he pops his head out. Your unofficial scorecard after three rounds, how does it read and why? Officially, I have Horiguchi ahead two rounds to one right now. 10-9 on each round. And the reason why is, look at he's the guy who's trying to end the fight. There was that nice moment at the end, the third round, with Caldwell but it wasn't enough to overcome all the minutes that he let run by. We saw Caldwell receiving instructions from both Eric Del Fierro and Dominic Cruz. 
I have had opportunities to interview Cruz on myriad occasions over the years when he was the champion, and I always thought to myself, this guy's going to make an excellent coach and an excellent analyst, and he's gone on to, to prove me right on both counts. Both counts. And, the, and one of the things that you saw Dominic doing in his corner was he was he was trying to psychologically tell Cobble, you're not tired. You're not tired. Tell yourself you're not tired. And that's important because right now, Dario Caldwell is saying, oh. tired. Caldwell just trying to keep Horiguchi. Horiguchi throwing some left hands, continues to pepper the side of Caldwell's head. Yeah, definitely it's doing no damage no. to Caldwell, but it is, it's adding up. It's just the volume. I mean, when you look at there's nothing else that comes up, up in the striking area, the judge is going to go, well, there you go. He landed all those shots, even though they weren't real hard, they landed. By the way, with a win by submission, Caldwell would be tied at first for most submissions with six. Joining Goichi Yamuchi, Marcin Held, Michael Chandler, Alima Le McFarlane, who's joining us at the fight desk, and Neiman Gracie, who will challenge Roy McDonald for the Bellator Welterweight Championship in the main event in the semifinals of the Welterweight World Grand Prix. And, well, the fight is receiving Bronx cheers, Mr. McCarthy. Well, there was a really slick elbow that Caldwell just hit Horiguchi with, but Caldwell's making a huge mistake in making this a wrestling match and thinking he can win this fight by just out controlling his opponent. That's going to get him a big L. And again, Gorguchi feeding steady stream. You're right, just peppering him. No damage whatsoever, but the accumulation, and he's the one who's busy. Yeah, because you look at what is Dar Darian doing right now is he's wrestling. He's spending energy. He's on top. But he's not doing anything towards working towards the submission, working towards doing damaging strikes. Right now, all the judges are seeing a guy is sitting there getting hit. It's not effective energy in, in a way. I mean, so what is Man's that position. what Let's is the it. plan here? That what's what should he be doing in Caldwell oh, in it, this it, position? Look at him. My my opinion, his corner should have been telling him if you put him against the cage and his back goes up there, unlock your hands and just start to unload on it. If he gets up in the position, no problem. Agree with the stand-up. Absolutely. Fight. Should he have done it sooner? Yes, he should have. Right hand connects for Horiguchi. Kick by Caldwell blocked. And this right now, when you have a guy like Horiguchi who's very fast and elusive, and you're tired and you have to move, this is where you start to go into that deficit if you're Caldwell. First kick to the chest by Caldwell. The first spinning move kicked by Horiguchi, just glancing off the rib cage of Caldwell. Final minute of the fourth. <laughs> you can just see in the movement, Caldwell is starting oh. just to die with that thing right back. there. And Horiguchi avoids it. Horiguchi's your fighter that's coming forward. He's looking to do things in the fight to finish the fight. And right now, I'm looking at Caldwell, looking at Zan. He doesn't look like he's happy where he's at. Took a big shot right there. Horiguchi riding a wave of momentum with 12 consecutive victories coming into his Bellator MMA debut. Turning the tables on Caldwell, looking to change levels. Thwarted by Caldwell. Final 10 seconds of the penultimate round. We are headed to the fifth and final round of this Bellator Bantamweight Championship bout. Up we go, boys. Easy, easy, easy. Up. There we go. Untangled, good. Ready? Ready? Fight! 29-year-old Kyoji Horaguchi in his 30th professional fight against the 31-year-old Bellator Bantamweight Champion Darion the Wolf Caldwell in his 16th pro bout. And round five, where you have to pull out all the stops, right, Big John? No doubt about it. Look at your title is on the line, and if you think that you've got this, you could definitely be wrong. You need to go for that finish. All right now, I have Horiguchi winning this round, and I have it to where Darian Galwell needs to finish Horiguchi or have a big round to get it back. Horiguchi leading him with the left, and Caldwell again. 
And we have seen this movie a few times tonight. Well, the one thing is Caldwell is in his corner. So if you're in his corner, you need to be telling him, let go with your hands and start blasting it. And the audience at MSG doesn't like reruns. <laughs> You cannot sit here trying to hold on to his legs and think that you're going to win this fight by being the guy that's sitting on top. This is not a good position for Zion. He needs to open up to do damage. There's always the conversation about the scoring of takedowns and how they should be scored. John, to elucidate a little bit on that. Well, you can look at that takedown. That really wasn't a takedown. It was a an actual takedown by Horiguchi that ended up in a scramble that he overshot and Darian gets position. But Caldwell from this position, when you have a takedown that is just almost a given, the judge is gonna wait and see what you do with that position. And if you do nothing offensive with it, he's not gonna give you much credit Horiguchi for it. Horiguchi tattooing the, the rib cage with those right hands. Both of Caldwell's losses have come via guillotine choke and Horiguchi maneuvering for another attempt. And right now, if you're looking at it, Moral, would you say that a takedown in this position for Darian is doing him good no. or doing him bad? It's static. Bingo. So it's not working your advantage to get that takedown and just keep yourself in this position. Horiguchi, Horiguchi see. trying to cinch that guillotine choke in. And again, he's searching for a submission. What is he trying to do? He's trying to finish the fight. Yes, incremental position, trying hand grappling now. Still plenty of time left in the round. Over two minutes left in this championship fight. Dominic Cruz imploring Caldwell to elevate his legs under your chest. And he didn't do it. Now his chin's in a bad position with Horiguchi. Needs to be careful. Don't allow your chin to stick down. Keep your head that up, press against it. The coaches are giving him the right advice. He's not listening. Exactly, and that's, you know, sometimes when you are in that position, do you listen to coaches? Are you, are you able to take that information and put it into action? And right now we're seeing that Caldwell is not able to do that. They're talking transitions, John. Well, they're also talking an arm triangle. They're talking a lot of things, but all of them are something that does something to try to end the fight. That's and Horiguchi looking to get back to his feet. A knee from Caldwell, again, looking for the takedown. Secures it, but will he try to improve position? Will he try to finish Horiguchi with less than a minute left? It's Horiguchi again, implementing the offensive strikes. You see Darian burying his head under the leg to try to keep that from happening. And that could result in, in a potential trouble. Darian is so close to being put into a triangle right now. Now there's nothing. Final 30 seconds of our opening contest here at Bellator 222. A cut under the right eye of Horaguchi, trickling blood. That was from that one hour that he brought up. And it did damage. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. So after their first meeting at the Saitama Super Arena New Year's Eve in Japan, they go the distance in the rematch for the Bellator Bantamweight title, much to the chagrin of the audience at MSG. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance in this world title fight will go to your judges' scorecards. Your first judge, David Torelli, scores the fight 48 to 47, while judges Derek Cleary and Douglas Crosby both see the fight the same, 49 to 46. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision. And now the new Bellator Bantamweight World Champion, Kyoji Horaguchi. Kyoji Horaguchi, a die-hard fisherman, came fishing in America for the Bellator Bantamweight 
Championship, and he will return to Japan as not only Ryzen Fighting Federation Bantamweight champ, but he is now also the Bellator MMA 135 pound champion. His second straight win over Darion Caldwell. Let's go up to the cage and pick John McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the new Bellator Bantamweight champion and Ryzen Bantamweight champion, Kyoji Horiguchi. That was an impressive performance in this cage by you taking a wrestler who was trying to put you on the ground and not allowing that to happen. I do apologize for, any, for being a lack of action fight. Did you feel as the fight was going on that you were getting stronger and he was getting tired? え、相手が失速して自分の方が強くなってるのを感じましたか。そうですね。もう最初からそのプランで、あの、最初はあまり飛ばさずに自分から攻めないで、あの、最終ラウンドで勝負仕掛けようと思ってたんですけど。いや、